Oh, you know it's gonna be an elegant one. Oh, midterms, never mind. What a chance for Stella's uncle, the private tutor, mission 18. I hope it's Uncle Frankie. Oh no. Oh no, Anya's not the best with academics. Oh no, and her confidence. Her confidence, terrifying. Brace herself for a. What is it? Gong? Shock. 13. Not even close. <laughs> oh no, I laughed at the same time Damien did. <laughs> but that's not elite, though. 91 is nothing to brag about. What would your father think? He wouldn't even love you. These poor kids, man. They're three and a half years old. Where's Borf? Borf doesn't greet her when she comes home? There he is. Alright, episode complete. I'm good. I got what I needed. Academics. Oh, wait, what? This is a power... Power information. Power lore. That's very inconvenient for Anya. Very convenient for this studying plot. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, honestly... <laughs> this is the future that we cared about, yeah. Test forgotten. I was gonna say, honestly speaking, I feel like the true power of this relationship has yet to be explored in any depth. I mean, Anya can change the future. Anya has the power to mold the world, to bend to her will effectively. Especially, you know, if she can figure out a way to train Borf or handle this power to some degree. She's got godlike power suddenly with her mind reading and future seeing abilities. And we haven't even introduced the adamantium skeleton cat yet. <laughs> Kinda sucks if she can't just tune it out and turn it off. Uncle Yuri! Uncle Yuri! Yuri in the house. Yuri answers texts like I answer my crush's texts, which makes sense but is highly alarming and deserving. I'm just gonna get exposed to a whole bunch of things that she won't understand and shouldn't understand yet. Anya having a very healthy self-preservation mechanism walking away. Lloyd right now has the edge. But I'm thinking that the last episode was sort of foreshadowing for something to come. Handler maybe losing a step to Yuri. Imagine being jealous of Anya. It's very unlikely. I had a running joke with my, my students in China for any quizzes or homework that was true-false based. I told them that if they got every answer right, they would get 100. And if they got every answer wrong, they would also get 100. Just because the, the chances of getting every answer wrong are so minuscule if there's a sufficient number of questions, that it means they knew the answers and were doing it intentionally. But then I actually had a student who got all of them wrong somehow. <laughs> And it was definitely not intentional. And I had to figure out whether or not to honor honor that joke. This is a teaching strategy. Yuri accidentally working against himself right now without knowing. <laughs> One day, if you work hard, you can become an imperial scooter. That's how Yuri accidentally started working for the enemy. He was a bright kid. I still have nightmares as a full grown adult about school. Physics is what took me out in high school. It's pretty cool. The non perverted side of Yuri. <laughs> Whatever you want, yeah. Just like that, they have common ground. Do we just become friends? <laughs> 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 you just gonna leave? 
Okay, thanks for the help of the grammar, kind of. There it is. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I was waiting for the puke. Don't eat it, Borf. No. Oh no. Even the dog. I is just a huge danger to herself. No, Borf, don't do it. Borf is about to Borf, yeah. Borf's dead. Oh no, the confidence. That's what I'm worried about. Mission 18, daybreak. I've actually met a lot of teachers who love to have tests that are super hard and they seem to enjoy the results being low grades. And there's something about that that always bothered me. I mean, I get there's another aspect of school that's not about education. It's about kind of proving yourself in a meritocracy and selecting for people who are capable. But I think if you lean more on the side of school is about education, for me, it's kind of neither here nor there what the grades are, except as perhaps a motivator or just a benchmark of where you are, but it doesn't necessarily require extreme harshness. In fact, I had a really bizarre experience speaking of teaching in China. I was teaching university and I had a, a English speaking class that met once a week, but just for for whatever reason, based on poor scheduling or whatever, in the entire semester, every time we had a class, there was some reason why it was canceled. There was like sports day or on certain days, school closed early because of guest speakers. So I ended up meeting them like, I don't know, five times. And it was a class of a hundred. It was a lecture hall, which makes it sort of tough to do, you know, any kind of focused speaking. But then and the English department heads told me they needed a grade and I think we had like one hour of remaining class time and so you know I gave them an exercise to do I tried to get in some practice and whatever but in the end I was sitting there looking at this the grading sheet and I thought I don't have enough information from which to do this at all so I just sort of took a shot and I just gave them all hundreds and I was really wondering how the administration would take that but I put a hundred next to every name and waited and waited and nothing and then suddenly I started getting a, a just a flood of, of messages from my students telling me that they loved me. Another story on this topic, and this is not always possible. It depends on whatever, the administration, the subject, et cetera. But I used to teach writing and that consisted of a few, you know, formal projects. But in the meantime, all other activities, all exercises, they just got a credit or no credit basically. And what I would do is each time I read someone's writing, I would identify their, their biggest weakness, things that I, thought they could improve on the most, like the lowest hanging fruit. And for their next writing, I had them keep the same quality, but improve that thing. And if they just worked on that one thing and improved, improved it to an adequate degree, it would be a pass. Rather than what I used to do in writing, which is like mark everything and every mistake and give all these tips, which just sort of gets lost. Like kids, basically when they have a grade, they look at their grade, they have an emotion and then that's it. They sort of discard it. They don't actually get the, the feedback of what they're doing wrong. I found that by making their assignments specifically one task focused, they would focus on that thing and they actually would progress. And I think the writing at the end of that semester was way better than it ever been before. Or I felt like I'd made the most progress I'd ever made with teaching students writing. I'm not like saying anything negative about people who are really focused on grading and like the education system the way it is. I just think that sometimes people don't know why they're doing something. Sometimes people just get obsessed with the methodology they've learned and the system and kind of adherence to the rules rather than what the actual larger task or goal is. Which grade certainly can work towards. This looks like it could be a mission. It could be a mission. It would be so much rewarding if he could place his faith in Anya, though. But the world's fate lies in the balance. That confidence, yeah. <laughs> Her confidence ends up being a sign of failure. It's Lloyd. It's Lloyd. This time I know it's Lloyd. Not this time. There's more than one. Daybreak, unlike Twilight. Oh, he's derivative. I like this guy's energy. Okay, there's a stripper pole right there. Oh, exactly, that's what I'm saying. It makes it look fun. How about an alliance? Oh, 
侵入の痕跡は改ざん発覚のリスクを高める。Did you just bring a soccer ball for this? Oh, Lloyd did that. Lloyd's a genius. あの守衛に扉開けてもらわなきゃ進めない。I feel like he's gonna pull it off just with raw energy and enthusiasm. ID をお持ちでないならお帰りください。そう言わず頼むよね。Come on, guy. <laughs> 警察呼びますよ。If you ever need to infiltrate a building, just hit him with a come on, guy. これそこに落ちてましたけど、あなたのではないですか。Lloyd with the assist. Dude. <laughs> えっと新人のブラウンさん、これをお持ちなら入れますよ。そうそうどこかで落としてしまって。We just become friends。二つの学籍番号と改ざんの文字。やはり同業者だったか。そして二つの学籍番号はデズモンド兄弟のもの。We haven't seen the brother yet, right? まさか番号を写し間違えたのか。ちょっとトイレ行ってくる。お先どうぞ。Don't wash your hands. He's gonna wash his hands. ご苦労だったな。マヌケが。Boy just. Fell for that? I'm shocked, honestly. Look, I got taken out by this amateur. Mission complete. Just take a little time for a glamour shot. I'm saying this out loud in front of Twilight. More posing. And we're still posing. It's not the right profession for him. But this guy's going places, mark my words. They break and posing again. But do it nonchalantly. Well, I hope he's a recurring character. They break. He said it a thousand times. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if it was up or down. 特に兄の方は全教科ほぼ満点か。Man, Damien has some huge fills to shoe. Huge shoes to fill. これは。What if she passed? You're gonna feel so bad. I bet she passed. That's not enough for Daddy's love. You're a failure, Damien. Come on, Becky. I expected better. No, 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 fake up. No, two thirteen. Why? What was Lloyd doing? What's the game here? Is that it? Is it just avoiding? We could have gotten a, a Stella though, no? That is a great char characteristic of hers. She's never down for long. That's barely avoiding failing. What is his grading scale? Aww. <laughs> if only it worked that way. If only you just add all your test scores together. Okay, so we let it go. I mean, I feel like if you're gonna go to all those lengths and be really willing to cheat, you may as well give her high scores. Knowledge plus five. That's a win. Of course, he has a boxing heavy bag in his room. That means we get more of this guy. I wonder what kind of insane arc he will have. Well, it's been a roller coaster. Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please protect Anya from him. A new character who has energy. Borf was there, but the highlight of the episode, Borf. We got to see Borf. Damien continued to be a failure at life, even with no assistance in that regard. We learned a new facet of Anya's power, which I feel like will be key at some point. And I also realized that Anya is going to be the most powerful human being in the world when she learns how to manipulate time itself.